The ultimate checklist for ISF filings on quota or license regulated goods. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an important topic to discuss for all importers and exporters out there. We're going to talk about the ultimate checklist for ISF filings on quota or license regulated goods. So, let's get started. First and foremost, it's crucial to determine if your goods fall under quota or license regulations. This information can be obtained from the relevant government agencies or trade associations. Once you have this information, you can move on to the next step. The second item on our checklist is to ensure you have a valid importer security filing ISF, bond. This bond is required by U.S. Customs and Border Protection and serves as a financial guarantee for your compliance with ISF requirements. Next, you need to gather all the necessary documentation related to your shipment. This includes the commercial invoice, packing list, bill of lading, and any other relevant documents. Make sure these documents are accurate and complete. Now, it's time to submit your ISF filing. You can do this electronically through the automated broker interface, ABI, or the automated commercial environment, ACE, system. Ensure that all the required fields are filled out correctly. Consider working with a licensed customs broker who can assist you throughout the ISF filing process. They have the expertise and knowledge to navigate the complexities of customs regulations and ensure compliance. Lastly, regularly review and update your checklist to stay up to date with any changes in regulations or requirements. This will help you avoid any penalties or delays in your import or export operations. And there you have it, the ultimate checklist for ISF filings on quota or license regulated goods. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please leave them in the comments below.